Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I have this a little bit of an unusual sound designing tip and this is making waveforms using the formula controller. So using math to create different types of waveforms and then converting them into audio to be used in synthesizers like say citrus. So this method is really good for making these old school subtractive synthesis sounds like I made this keyboard sound. So I'm going to show you how to convert parameter data, which is the one that the formula controller outputs. And yeah, to can what, what did I even say at first? I forgot. I'll show you how to convert parameter data into audio so to do that i'm using the voltage controller these waveforms are very low frequency so i don't recommend playing these at a very high volume that might not be the best thing for your speakers these are not meant to be listened as they are they're just meant for taking the shape of the waveform and then using that in synthesizers to create sounds so the way that this works is that i have activated an input which is the left option offset main out and in here when the function is doing its thing you can see that the voltage is also doing the same kind of motion and then because i'm only using the left output like i technically could have uh, routed it to both of these but i just made it balanced by using the stereo shaper and yeah this is because the audio will be only on the left channel if you just connect it directly here and then the waveform is not going to look quite as you would expect it to look then you just output your function through here and press record in edison so now you can see that i'm outputting this waveform into edison and it's recording it so now that you've recorded your waveforms you need to save them so look at where the period of the waveform is approximately repeating in so here i could for example do some auto slicing let's try the dull preset yeah it slices it pretty neatly so i just selected one area with the markers and took everything else out so now i have this single period of this waveform and i can just save that and now one more thing about recording the waveforms that i need to mention is the time base setting here in the project settings we have this time setting or a time base setting window and when you're recording these waveforms it's best to set this as high as possible like as high as your cpu performance allows and here i have two examples where the first one i recorded with a very low time base setting so i think it's probably like the lowest setting so this is the same exact waveform and it's pretty easy to see <laughs> that the one recorded with the lower time base setting is a lot lower resolution than the one recorded with the maximum time base setting but yeah maybe some Sometimes this kind of an effect like quantization effect might be actually what you want so you could play around with that like recording with the lowest setting and seeing what types of waveforms you can get out of there and just to demonstrate how you can import the waveforms in citrus select one and drag it into here and with serum for example it's just the same thing like you can just drag this in here and then select the import setting so based on this setting you're gonna get a little bit of a different result some of you might be thinking of this feature right now like you can write formulas in serum yes you absolutely can so this is something that i think deserves its own video like i've been meaning to make a video about this feature in serum and how you can use it for sound design so i'm not gonna Gonna go into that right now but at some point there definitely will be a video about this so in this next section i'm going to give you some tips on how to actually create formulas so the first one is using trigonometric functions so sine cosine tangent and the second one is using mathematical series or summation and the third one is taking integrals or derivatives of the previously used functions so a derivative is 
is the rate of change of a function and an integral is the area under a curve of a function. It's a little bit too complicated to explain fully <laughs> here, but you can look into it yourself and you can also use these integral and derivative calculators and basically just throw the function in there and see what happens, like what it looks like. So it's, you can very much do this in this kind of a trial and error way as well, if you're not that familiar with calculus. And the final one is using modulation. So modulating a formula controller with another formula controller to create a result waveform that is shaped differently than the original ones. I'm going to explain all of these techniques a bit more in detail later in this video but now I also want to give some advice on how to make the formula use the formula controller syntax so if you're using a graphing calculator like Desmos the format is obviously not going to be correct to be used in the formula controller so one tip is that the x variable in the formula controller is replaced by song time or time or you could also connect any changing value in there so if you have sign x in a graphing calculator you would type sign song time in the formula controller and for the rest of the syntax i really recommend reading the manual because all the functions that you can use are listed in there and how you can type them okay so let's move on so the way that i've created most of these formulas is by using trigonometric functions so periodic functions and arranging them in different ways nesting them in side of each other so i have this graphing calculator open here and as you can see i have the same shape that i just showed you in the formula controller and in this function we have an inverse tangent and inside of it there's a logarithm function and a tangent function nested within and it's also getting just the absolute value of whatever this is returning so that's what these lines are for and in the formula controller the corresponding function for that would be the absolute function. I've got some videos on the formula controller functions so you can check those out. I'm going to put a card on the screen or put them in the description. So this is actually the marshmallow function. <laughs> so let me show you real quick. You might think that function is shaped differently because this one has this mirrored section going to the other direction. So what this condition is basically saying is that if song time is an odd value, it will output the function to the positive direction. So we get this same shape that is in the original function. But then on every even quarter beat, we get this other function, which is the same exact thing, except I have one minus at the front of it, which flips it upside down. So this is a square wave represented using the Fourier series. This is essentially just adding a similar kind of formula over and over again and certain values will keep changing so in this case it's the n value right here so i've done a square wave just like that one in the formula controller so here you can see that we get the similar shape and if the series was continued all the way up to infinity you would get a more and more refined square shape so you can see that we have this kind of a repeating formula so this is the first term that is being added and here is the second term that is being added and here is the third term that is being added i've continued this series to 11 and now if i start taking these terms out this is what would happen so if i would take this you can now see that the frequency at the top is decreasing so now we have this tooth looking thing <laughs> but the point of this is that you can come up with your own series and try to create interesting looking ways forms using that so just kind of experiment with it come up with some kind of a, a formula that has certain values that you would then add together and always increase or decrease or do some kind of operation following the same rules and then just keep adding those together here in the calculator i could just edit this as well maybe like this to the power of two or we got a shape like this <laughs> And here you can also change the amount of terms in the series. So if I keep refining this, oh look, we get 
the onion. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. But yeah, the thing is that you can represent any periodic function by using a Fourier series. Because any waveform like this can always be divided into its sine components. Another thing that I also want to show is modulating those waveforms that you've created with each other and then recording the modulated result. So here I have this modulator signal and then I have the carrier signal. So we're going to be modulating this one with this one. By multiplying the original formula with A, we get this kind of a result. And now I could change the frequency here to make it faster or slower so I can change how the modulation is actually happening. I have created Batman in formula controller. <laughs> So after the modulation, you're just going to feed it into the voltage controller and into this chain, just like you previously did. And then in Edison, you hit record and play. So here you can observe that the result is not exactly one-to-one. -one. Like it's, it's a little bit distorted looking compared to the formula controller one. And I'm actually just gonna try to disconnect the DC offset. So yeah, as you can see, when I disconnected the fruity center, which is supposed to remove the DC offset, you can see that we retain the original form of the waveform, but you can tell that it is offsetted. But then if I send this into the playlist, I can go in here and select remove DC offset. So doing it post recording will maintain the same shape that you recorded in. So, so yeah, I think that's about everything for this video. I hope that it provides you some inspiration for sound design. I will see you in the next one.